Don't in case you it. fail. In case it don't no. work out. Yes, no. man. She's filling your head full of fear. I pump you full of strength. Because we're on a team, and I know you got what it takes. You're a star, and I know it. That's why I'm here. Help! I'm your cheerleader, honey boy. Honey Boy was the breakout hit at this year's Sundance Film Festival. Written and starring Shia LaBeouf, it's loosely based on his experiences as a child actor and his turbulent father. And joining me right now from London is the star of Honey Boy, Noah Jupe. Hey, Noah. Hi. Good morning from Las Vegas. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm doing good. How's London? It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty cold, but, but great. Now, I have to ask you right off the bat, Noah, at the very beginning of the film, you get hit in the face with pies. And we know in movies, they do things over and over and over. How many times did you get hit in the face with a pie and did it hurt? I think I, I, uh, I got pied in the face three times that day, or maybe, no, four times. I think um, they only had a certain amount of pies um, to do it. So we practiced for ages with like the harness. Um, uh, but yeah, and then the first two times they missed completely, like it just went past me. So I didn't get hit those two times. So I, I'm, I only got pied in the face like twice. And then one of them was that, this one, um, the, the, the kind of the best one. Um, but yeah, it really, it really hurt actually. It was, uh, you know, you think it'd be quite nice and creamy, but it actually feels like quite violent and physical. Now, Noah, this is a bad boy role. You're smoking cigarettes, you're smoking weed, you're throwing bricks through car windows. How did you convince your mom to let you have this role? Um, I mean, I haven't been doing the most um, PG of movies. Like, you know, I did Suburbicon where my dad was trying to kill me. And, you know, I've done stuff that hasn't necessarily been... Um, for kids and and for p people my age so um i guess this one was a step up because there was a bit there was stuff in it that i was kind of oblivious to and i didn't really have the the knowing and the experience of um but actually my mum was all for it you know obviously not me actually doing it but she was you know she she kept me safe and she kept me um secure but also you know, it, it was a good moment in our relationship where she let me out into the world, I guess, and and let me experience these things. And actually, it's a great way to experience them because you, because you kind of learn the negative the, the negative side of it. And the cigarettes weren't actually real, and and the stuff that was going on didn't actually happen. So you learn about it without actually being affected by it. So. I guess that was like my mum's mindset for this experience. And I and I learned, I did learn a lot from it. Now, Noah, your one-on-one -on -one scenes with Shia, they're just intense and they're so emotional. I was wondering, since Shia also wrote the film, did you guys do any kind of freestyling? Because it seems like those scenes with him, they just kind of flowed. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the movie is actually improvised. Um, but I guess we shot uh, the whole movie over 19 days, I think. Um, me and me and Shia only shot over nine days, so it was pretty crammed and it was pretty it was a pretty crazy shoot. But um, we had about like a month and a half beforehand to get to know each other, to hang out, and to you know um, build the trust and build the relationship that we needed. So actually, when we got on set, it felt like we'd been preparing for this, and and um, it was actually a lot easier and. The, the crew was really small and safe and contained and Alma was brilliant and it actually, you know, I was more um, worried about um, worried about the emotion of the scene and, and how we were going to get there than like how I was going to work with Shia. Like I knew that the relationship between me and him were down and we knew that we could do it. We were just like focusing on getting each other there. Now, is it strange being an actor, playing an actor in Honey Boy? Um, very, not not weird, but um, it was very interesting for me because obviously Otis, the character, is quite opposite from me as a person and the experiences they're going through. Um, so, yeah, so for me, it was like my way into this character and how I found um my relationship with this character was through the industry because we both had a passion for it we both had we both loved it with all our hearts we needed it in our lives 
So I guess it was it was a bit of an eye opening experience, really. Now, once production began on Honey Boy, did you quickly realize how personal of a film this is, and it happened to Shia? This this project, like I hadn't really known about Shia's life before this. I actually really didn't even know of his work, um, and so this this project just attracted me because of the emotion and the heart um, and the love that was poured into it. And um, I thought the script was phenomenal and I thought it really drew me um, and it was really truthful. Um, and so that's why I, I picked it, not because I loved Shia, not because, you know, I wanted to play him, although I do absolutely adore him now. And finally, Noah, what do you want audiences to take away after seeing Honey Boy? I, I don't think, uh, personally, Shia wants people to feel sympathetic for him. I think, um, you know, this, this movie has been very therapeutic for him. Um, and he loves to show it to the world, but he's not expecting people to be like, oh, poor Shia. This movie is just about him uh, harnessing his pain and making art out of that pain and, and not wasting it. Um, so I guess just the inspiration to to uh, use your pain and, and your pain is not necessarily a negative thing. And um, uh, yeah, and also just like, for me personally it was a warning about the the industry and how it can you can fall into a dark place within it and how you need to surround yourself with those safe people that you can trust so that um you don't fall into those dark places well noah congratulations on having a great year i love ford versus ferrari one of my favorite films honey boy was fantastic and i can't wait to see you in a quiet place too yeah it's uh it's been it's been pretty pretty busy but you know honestly I just I'm I love it um, and um, you know just I really want to keep doing what I'm doing how do you think it feels to have my son paying me how do you think that feels you wouldn't be here if I didn't pay you All right, you can catch Honey Boy right now in theaters, also Ford vs. Ferrari. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFromCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.